looks like a good one, doesn't it? Oh, kia ora e hoa. Hi, mai. Come and join me. Hey, have you ever used your imagination to create something in your mind? Maybe like an amazing vehicle that could take you all over the world and far, far beyond? Well, that's what Sam Wallace has done. Sam Wallace has written the book Dougie the Buggy and Sean Yo has drawn some amazing pictures to bring it all to life. This is Dougie the Buggy here. Where is he driving? He's driving on the... <laughs> the moon. Are you nice and comfy? Ready to have a story and use your imagination? Well, let's begin. Dougie the buggy was feeling glum, thinking his dune racing days were done. His tyres were flat and his paint was faded. His race car look was run down and jaded. <laughs> look at him. Look at his face. He's not very happy, is he? What's holding him together here? A sticking plaster. That's right. But under the bonnet was a giant heart and an engine that beat, if only it'd start. He needed some paint, a few litres of oil, brand new tyres and an aerofoil. Do you know what an aerofoil is? Have a look here. This could be a shiny aerofoil. Doesn't he look smart now? Wow. The new cars were faster and so much keener, more determined to win and much, much meaner. Tessa the turbo was showered in flattery. Her motor was powered by a dual core battery. And look at her. Wow, doesn't she look smart? Do you think she's fast? Let's find out. She was Dougie the Buggy's biggest foil and teased him for running on petrol and oil. Whenever they raced, Tessa would scoff and give Dougie a nudge to push him off. <gasps> Tessa, that's not nice. Poor old Dougie. He's in a bit of a spin. So Dougie the buggy was left in the dust, with no home or garage, just left to rust. It seemed his race days had come to an end, until he bumped into a long-ago friend. Can you see his friend? Ronnie the rocket was bright as a spark. His cheerfulness drew Dougie out of the dark. Ron told him a story about his big dream and together they hatched an incredible scheme. Why race here on Earth on these tiny dunes when you can fly with me and race on the moon? Dougie was fueled to the brim with hope. But could Ronnie the rocket actually cope? I wonder, do you think he could cope? You might think that Ronnie was missing a sprocket. He was not from NASA, but a bottle rocket. Work with what you got. That was the plan, and all the other racers became their biggest fans. Look, I love Dougie. Rocket power! Ronnie filled his bottle with a load of water while the engine revved and the bottle grew torta. Do you know what torta means? It means the bottle got tighter as the pressure built up. They worked together, an incredible team, as the pressure built up. They made some steam. Do 
you want to do the countdown with me? You ready? Three, two, one, and away with a zoom. Ronnie and Dougie were off to the moon. So just remember, when you're feeling gloomy, shoot for the stars, you may land on the moony. <laughs> they made it! Woohoo! Here they are on the moon. And that's the end of the story. Sometimes things can get us down, can't they? And sometimes we end up with problems that we think are too hard to solve. But if we let our imagination go, you never know what kind of solution you can find. Or to find out more about Sam and Dougie the Buggy, you can head to scholastic.co.nz. And your folks can look out for Sam Wallace on Coast Breakfast. He's a radio announcer as well. Did you enjoy that story? Maybe you could use your imagination and create a vehicle of your own. Where would you take it? Where would you go and what would you do? Well, don't forget to come back and join me for another story. I've got lots of books waiting for us. I'll see you soon. Kaki te.